here I am selecting on cell edit client script. So when you select on cell edit client script on particular field value change only this on cell, on cell edit client script will work. You have to, you must select this field name here. Here I am selecting impact. Okay. So here you have parameters here. We have to understand about these parameters as well. We have to understand about these parameters. We'll quickly discuss these parameters as well. So I am keeping alert. Okay, so in the alerts, first one, first parameter is CCIDs. CCIDs. Second one is table. Third one is old values. We all know what is old values, what is new value. Tell me what is old value, what is new value. Before changing the value is old value, after entering the value is new value. Yes, you're right. Yeah new value callback don't try to understand callback try to understand first four okay yeah so on which particular field change this on cell relationship will work impact here we have selected impact here so remember, if you go to the farm here, if you try to change the impact, this will not work. Because on cell edit will only work from the list. On cell edit client script will only work from the list. Let me refresh the list here. Let me just change the incident here. Do you guys think it will work? No. no. From, the from the list also, we can edit the edit the records, guys. So it will not work. So I am trying to change the impact value. See, it has given the system ID. System ID of this particular record, whatever the record that we modified, right? That particular record will have system ID, right? That system ID you are getting here. Suppose, I am trying to change this particular record. This particular record impact I am changing. So you will get the this particular record system ID. So you copy the system ID here. So this particular record, right? One, two, three, four, five, fifth record. So I am taking the system ID of this particular record. So copying it here. So ends with triple six. So if I try to change the, if I try to modify the fifth record here, this particular record system ID you will actually get here, triple six. Whatever the record that you are modifying, that particular record system ID you will actually get in the system ID, CCID's parameter. Second one, table. So which table we are actually working on? Demo incident. Third one. Third one is empty. Old value is empty, right? So new value is high. This callback function we will discuss later. Don't try to understand this callback now. Okay. So the why here you guys can see uh, in the answer edit client script, you guys can see old values, not a value. Ma normally you will see old value. In the answer client script, you will see old value. Here you are see old values. Why here old values are there? So you can modify multiple records at a time here. See. You can take, you can click on, you can select control. Okay. Try to modify three records at a time. Okay. Just click on low here. So new value is actually one. That is for three, three records, new value is low. Only values might be different. Let me just remove this one. This, this old value is high guys. This, 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 this record and this record. I am changing it to low. Okay. Two records you are modifying, right? Two system IDs you are getting. Table name. Here you guys you guys are able to see two values. Old values. And new value is actually low. 
and callback function i'll discuss it later so this is actually about uh, client scripts so use cases are not at started we just understand what are client scripts when these client scripts will run when when the form loads on unload when you are changing the changing the value on a particular field on change when you are before form submission on submit from the list on select it do you guys think on select it will work on the form no 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 